need more fury. <laughs> Rathma's body. Then it was all in vain. She's the only one who got what they wanted. Nairal. She came seeking the Haradrim of legend. Seeking hope. She found neither. But her part in things was far from over. In truth, we would need her more than she needed us. Didn't seem that way at the time, though. For anyone. Inarius proved to be just as unreliable as I'd feared. His self-obsession had driven him to murder his son, Rathma. And from the corpse left behind, Lilith had taken a key to hell. Where would she use it? We could only depend on ourselves to find out. provide a steady supply of, shall we say, specimens for the clergy nearby. However, their desire for knowledge has become more dangerous to satisfy. I require a host of intact ghoul hearts from the surrounding area. There's something special about the ravenous dead nearby. They can reanimate with only a few drops of blood. I'd venture out and retrieve these myself, but... I'm more accustomed to dealing with the fully dead. Your discretion is appreciated, of course. And you will be rewarded. My husband, Theodore, left our home in the middle of the night. I heard him talking to someone, another woman. I went to confront them, but they fled towards a strange light in the forest. They have been gone all night. I think it's time I went after him, but the forest is dangerous. Would you accompany me?
Excellent work, friend. Ghoulhearts seem to have captivated the clergy as of late. It's no surprise, really. Understanding your enemy is the first step to defeating them.
I'm out of fury. An axe. Specifically the axe of the woodsman. A man who stalked and butchered travelers in this area. Rumor has it, the woodsman disappeared recently and left his weapon behind. The priest who hired me didn't offer much more to go on. At this rate, I'll freeze before I find the damn thing. If you help me find the axe, I'll cut you in on the pay. Check the woods around town. I'm staying here where it's safe. I don't. Perrin does. He's a priest of sorts, but what he wants with it, I don't know. I've done work for him in the past. Always odd items or objects with a history. He pays well for them.
It must have been a grim place, judging by how much blood is on this axe. I confess, I'm eager to leave this place. I can't shake the feeling that I'm being watched. Now to get this thing back to Menestad and collect my due. Thank you for your help. Delight you're here. My boy. Ah, good. You look capable. I could use an extra set of hands exorcising the demon that has seized this man's son. Meet me in the cellar there. And prepare yourself. You're about to witness a miracle. Colder down here than out there. Take my chalice and place it in front of the boy. 
I need to read through my prayer book for the right passages. Cathedral's normal method is to burn the person possessed. Some of the clergy can be eager in their reading of the scriptures. That won't happen here. Oh, praise be. <sighs> Father Inarius, as I shed my wicked blood, let it be purified in thy light. Let the light feel the darkness. Pathetic. This child belongs to me. Angels above! My son! Let the light push out the darkness hiding within this child. Father, force this demon out! <laughs> Your mewling has no power here. Father, protect this child with your grace. I command you to flee this body. No, no. no. It is done. But, my boy, can you hear me? Please, say something. <sighs> the father Where am I? My boy! Oh, father! You're all right. Th thank you, sister. You're welcome. I'm sure I will see you at the next service, yes, Peter? Right in the front pew? Of course, sister, of course! Let us give them a moment. Speak to me outside. You did well. You are more suited to this work than you think. There are many more people in Kyovoshad who are in need of me. If you have the time, I would welcome your assistance. You have an eye for quality. <laughs> You'll find no finer gem cutter in all of Sanctuary. Bring me your unhewn stones and I will perform miracles. You will see.
Hello.